So the first thing with her brows, she had a beautiful shape already, but I just wanted to make them a little thicker and I wanted to just make them a little longer to kind of, you know, be more proportionate to her face. Okay, so I started underneath here and I brought them up and I brought them to here, all right? This should always be the thickest part and it gets thinner as you go, all right? I gave her a little bit of an arch as well, but not too much. You don't want like a big over-exaggerated arch because that does not look natural, all right? And then I went on the same side and I pretty much did the same thing. No two eyebrows are ever the same. So usually you have an easy one and then you have a hard one. This is your easy brow, if you didn't know that. And this is kind of your struggle brow. Okay, and what I mean by that, I have to kind of work on that one a little bit more. So, fill that in a little bit more. And then I also usually have like a Q-tip to kind of go and kind of clean up as well. But I think it's good, looking to the camera. I think um, a thicker brow um, is just more on trend. It makes you look a little younger uh, for her face proportions. She has beautiful high cheekbones, like me. Um, it just kind of evens out her face. Her brows were stopping about here, and I just extended them out a little bit more so it's more proportionate to her face. Now I'm gonna set it with the Amazing Brow Gel, which is, a good, which is just going to keep everything where I want it to be. Keeps it from moving. And it also, like if you use a powder, the great thing about a brow gel is, it actually kinda, you know, some powders go like a little ashy, so when you put the brow gel on there, it just kinda like makes it look more like your natural brow coming out of your skin. There you have it, Brows by Cynthia Bailey.